How did y'all feel about Fat Joe saying he lied in about 95% of his songs? I ain't mad at him. Yo, dog, I ain't mad at him. He said, like he said, he also said they don't come at De Niro and, and you know, all these people in their movies mm-hmm. like that. Right. So I get it. And it shouldn't be, all the lyrics shouldn't not be used in court and all that because we are entertaining. We are like making uh, stuff up here and there, mm-hmm. you know? Especially as you get older, it's like, dog, come on, man. I, I ain't killed R&B, like, R&B singers is lying in 95% of their songs. I think right, the right, problem right. is mm-hmm. with, with anything that's cultural and um, black or brown where it's created with that, we get put on a a pedestal different than the whole world. Mm-hmm. And it's like its own set of rules, which is really sort of unfair. Like, you know what I mean? It is a fine line you have to walk being an artist, but you are, at the end of the day, an artist. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think people seem to seem to forget that, but I think with all of the things that happens in the black and brown communities that people tend to put you on a pedestal that they want you on. And then when you don't live up to it, that kind of upsets them. Mm-hmm. But it, it is what it is. Like, and people have to start playing honest. As artists are human beings. Like, I think people think. Yeah, why well, we got to go through all that? Yeah, like, it's crazy. They eat shit, sweat, sleep, just like you do. Mm-hmm. They're just famous. That doesn't make them more of a special person than to you, the listener who's out there listening right now. An artist is not a better human being, a more worthy human being than you. They're artists. Mm hmm. That's it. They're good at their art and they're famous for it, but that doesn't mean they're the next born leader of the free world. That doesn't mean the words they say mm-hmm. are, are relevant for everyone's living. That doesn't mean the things they, they want us to raise your kids, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. You got to raise your own kid. You got to be responsible. You should sit down and have conversations with, with them about reality and what's not reality because, like you said, they never say anything to the. Uh, to the actors, None the directors. That. They never even say nothing to the record labels who are putting out the artists. Mm-hmm. They never say nothing to the radio stations. They never say nothing to the magazines. But you, you're going to hold the poor kid from the ghetto responsible right. for trying to make it doing what he knows is popular genre. And America loves violence. The shit is built off of violence. Absolutely. Everybody loves Al Capone, John Dillinger, John Gotti. That They're not black. America loves sex, sex, and, and, violence. sex and violence. Sells, mm-hmm. and, and money, it sells. It's a natural thing, but when it comes to black, it always reverts back, which is understandable because we have a right, uh, a duty to s- take care of our, our community. I think we put too much pressure on artists to to to, to be real, like to, to to live up to their lyrics. Where, you know yeah. what I mean? If we just looked at it as entertainment, we wouldn't care. But then every now and then you get the rare brothers like yourself, yeah, yeah, who really come from that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we expect everybody to be like that. Yeah, yeah. 